You don't need a lot. So that's probably, that's too much, buddy. Just put about half in each one. What did you do, buddy? Um, I caught a um, chicken. Oh, you caught a chicken. Good job. Who is it? Oh, it's Kai. Hey, Kai. Hey, kids, throw all the extra hay to the chickens. Okay. They'll like it. It's a lot of excitement out here. Something new to play in. It is one of the most beautiful days I've ever seen in winter. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, and it is warm. So we are gonna take the goats on a walk up into the woods, and we're actually going to let them go for a little while off of the leads and see what they do. short walk up to our favorite spot on our property. Up here you can see our house right there and you can actually see the pastures that we're going to use our goats to reclaim for us. There is the pasture right by our house that you guys see all the time and all of this overgrown area here is a pretty good sized pasture that we're going to reclaim. And then there's actually a piece across the creek as well. That's another reason we bought the portable electric fencing is to be able to move them and do rotational grazing with them up here in this wooded area where we want them to open those pastures back up for us so that we can have more grazing animals. Hey Lavi, what do you think about that? <laughs> you love it. You seem very happy. I see some mountain goats. Oh wait, it's Joyful Injustice. <laughs> Good job, all right, lovey. It's really fun having them out here and just watching them jump on all the rocks and explore and kind of checking out what they're eating and what they're interested in. You know, some of the questions that we have as goat owners and chicken owners and hopefully one day other livestock is what can we grow on our land or what can we forage out of the woods or what can our animals forage to feed themselves and for us to feed them ourselves without bringing in feed to our home. One of our biggest goals on our homestead is to provide most of our own food and most of our animals feed as well. And we don't have that much pasture, so we're gonna have to get really creative and really dig and research what people did in the old days. Some of the questions we're asking is, how do we get creative with feed? And how do we get smart with the breed of animal that we own? One of the ways we can do that is by purchasing chickens that forage heritage varieties that are known to be good foragers and also good mothers so that we know that they'll get broody and take care of their own chicks. Not only does that create less work for us, but it also means that we can do the complete cycle of homesteading. We're not trying to be dreamers or unrealistic, but we really believe that there has to be a way to have a homestead without spending hundreds of dollars on feed every month. So we're looking into huge compost piles for chickens and 
forage and browsing for goats. We're looking also into sprouting barley seeds for goats and chickens. We're looking into smaller breeds of cow that produce less milk or even getting a Guernsey or a Jersey that produces a ton of milk and using that milk to feed our animals in the future. I know some of you think these are just crazy ideas, but there are people out there doing these things and experimenting with these things and we're reading about it and we're just learning and trying to figure out how to implement these practices into our homestead. Now I know you two sweet girls want to be little goats, but please don't go to the edge. I want to be a baby goat. <laughs> you are a baby goat. I want to be fluffy. I wish I was fluffy. <laughs> This is actually our way, the way up. It's the safest way up. For them, you mean? No, for us. I'm talking about please don't go down there. Oh. It's a pretty big drop to I the ground. Hey girls, what do you think about this? A little treat for you. You want that? Mm -hmm. Yummy. You won't get that out in the woods. Browsing around here. I have some for you, Coco. <laughs> it's nice to be domesticated sometimes, huh? Oh, you got it? Okay, good job. Look, Lovey's gonna go get it. You're not scared, are you, Lovey? You want me to move out of your way? There you go. She just wanted me to move. Lovey's a little bit braver, I think, because she's not going to have a baby any day. So she is just exploring and wandering around and seeing what there is to see. Are you getting brave? You're coming down off your rock? Lovey loves Grace. Look at her following Grace down there. Come on back up here, Lovey. Oh. <laughs> Lovey is so fast out here. <laughs> she got tired of the rock, now she wants our lunch. We're packing up to head home. I'd say this experiment was successful. The ghosts just stayed right around where we were mostly. They seemed to have a really good time and I'm sure they enjoyed climbing on rocks. Today was another great day on the homestead. We hope you guys will like, comment, and subscribe. See you tomorrow.